welcome back uh patricia mukim is still with us and you're watching fine tune well uh Kong Pat, uh, let us talk about certain other issues which are confronting contemporary issues confronting the region and the state. Mm -hmm. An issue which we have been talking over the years is about the matrilineal society which is being followed here mm -hmm. in Meghalaya. A lot has been said. People say that uh, you know men do not have rights. Uh, the youngest daughter inherits the property. But as far as I know, it's time tested. There is some scientific basis about it, yes. and what I know, last time you were telling me yes. you would like to write a book on that someday. Yes. Yes. Uh, what's your take on that? What is this material society? Why people raise this issue and a lot of confusion it seems to be coming up? You know, it's the antithesis to patriarchy, although not exactly, because even here. Although we are matrilineal, women don't enjoy political power. You know, they don't enjoy political power at the grassroots, which is very sad. We may enjoy uh, a liberal economic space. We can come out, we can take up any work we want. We enjoy our own social spaces. Boys and girls can go out. There's no, no taboo. And I think this is very liberating for a society if we know how to look at it the, in the right way. We could actually move ahead much more than others because we don't suffer from the hindrances of patriarchy you know in patriarchy women have to really do so much to come out now all this nonsense i call it nonsense about uh, you know men have no rights it's a lot of bunkum because these people who are raising the my point my friends say that is the reason why you find so many men going to you know oh, the come on. umiam lake and fishing uh, fishing you know? or alcoholism they yes. attribute alcoholism then why do you have alcoholism and drug addiction and more in nagaland or in manipur you should be having it only here Absolutely. The, you know these are all alibis and they don't stand any ground and there's no research you see the problem is that there's no research that has been done on all these tall claims now i have seen families where the male has taken on responsibility he's given all the reverence the respect everything that he wants that he he needs to enjoy to be a man but if you don't want to take up responsibility then you will definitely find many excuses all around and i think so you should i think you can sum it up by saying that it's time tested it's time tested absolutely and it's it's a you know it, it's a practice it's a practice that that does not have incest built in you know because we stay far away from inbreeding it's not part of this culture absolutely it's yeah. clear now that yeah. it's it's time tested uh, but again what you said related to that also uh, if you talk about the traditional bodies here mm -hmm. the dolbar shlong yeah. which is considered to be so powerful yes. but we do not have any representation of women there no, hardly we, we far. yeah we are we are we are we've been engaging you know to dismantle an institution or a tradition is 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 very difficult so you, what you do is you engage and you try and chip in little by little and and try to make a difference maybe at some point not my generation maybe the next generation they will be able to do it you will find a woman head woman or a uh, kantaishnong uh, we, we, we not rangbashnong yeah in and fact maybe, some <laughs> maybe we could have you also as one some of people the have stalkers. told me some people have told me but i said look i'm You're a so vocal about the issues. i'm a private person i don't like people coming and waiting for me from 7 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. So when I'm propounding something, it doesn't mean I have to take it up. You know, I have to create space for people to do. When I talk about politics, people say, "Why don't you contest?" Now that's a very wrong analogy. You know, you're taking up an issue because you believe that true, women true. are as capable. Huh? Capable, they yeah. are, and indeed yeah. they are capable. Yes. And uh, let us talk about another issue, uh, Pat. As uh, uh, over the years, I have seen that marriages seems seems to be in threshold you know they break so easily in Megal in Meghalaya uh, mm -hmm. one of the issues i have seen is that marriages are never registered uh, what do you think about this you know like one fine evening the boy and the girl decides that they should stay together they go to a house start their life and and you know after some time maybe the guy doesn't like and they just break off and go to another house so this is a problem which has been confronting us i guess no, I, I have a different take on that. A Khasi society has always believed in cohabitation. When a man and a woman choose to live together, everybody recognizes them as man and wife. And there are many who have lived till they died together, you know. Yeah. So we can't say that because a marriage is not registered, therefore it is very brittle, it, it breaks easily and there's no uh, compensation for the woman, there's no alimony. 
uh, in fact we do have a problem of very many women headed households in meghalaya and that's because i think we are a fairly liberal society when the man leaves he doesn't take the children with him now that is a problem because the woman has to bring up the kids by herself so we need to address that i don't know whether you can address it through registration because you may register your marriage but if you're somebody who's working in some private sector or you're a daily laborer how does the code get redress you know if you don't if your conscience doesn't tell you that you've given birth to three children you have to pay for them i mean no court in this world or in this country can address that uh, another issue uh, congpat is about crime against women uh, meghalaya is all is on the headlines you know mm-hmm. in fact mm-hmm. uh, the number of rape cases we are having sexual abuse against minor children uh, i mean i think it's time we all stand up and do something uh, we were just going through the statistics one of the highest figures of crime is uh, against uh, minor children yeah but that's because it is reported here you know i must say whatever you talk about the region i think meghalaya has a very proactive civil society so just because uh, crime is not reported elsewhere doesn't mean it's not happening i keep going to nagaland i listen to my friends there they have the same stories but most of the papers don't report them you know they don't report them because also reports are very nuanced you know if, if you are in a patriarchal society even your newspapers are influenced by it and who owns the newspapers basically so uh, of course it is a cause but for it's an it's a, it, it is a it's a cause for great worry that children you know 4 5 7 years should be molested and raped and what we need to do is we need to go to the root of this these problems i think they are related to your mental health mental. and yeah this is a psychological yes, problem yes think. yes yes uh, something really needs to be done on that needs angle, to be I done guess. because you know i think there's a lot of aspiration that's growing because you see things on television and and you are not able to reach there so you are frustrated what do you do then you take out your frustration on a powerless child you know not even on a woman who can defend herself right uh, on that note we'll take one more commercial break and when we come back we will be talking to patricia mukhain about her likes and dislikes what she really likes what should, does she do when she is free so please stay with us